Hello teacups, what's brewing? Welcome back to the channel. Been away for a few days, I went back to work, I've been very busy, haven't been sleeping well. That's the short version of that. I'm going to go with the short version because I don't want to be on here too long. And I've said that the last few times and then just had the longest videos ever. And I do at some point tonight want to sleep and it's already 20 past eight. But uh, Foodie came online and I figured I've got a bit of time tonight and so I'll just get this react in because I probably won't have time for the next few days. Thank you very much for being here. So we have, oh, sorry, that was the remote for my uh, ring light. Uh, we have her Taco Bell cheat meal, which does rather imply she's been committed to something, which um, I feel might not be entirely true. I know that she has been putting out videos of her uh, supposedly walking. I, she's done a bit of walking, I don't know, supposedly. She did walk in them more than we usually see in videos like this, certainly. Um, she claims two hours, which seems unrealistic to me i would say maybe you spent two hours in the mall i wouldn't say she probably spent two hours walking because i don't think she'd be capable of that and that's not actually shade but if i was going from her level of um lack of movement her sedentary level i'm phrasing things weird sorry um then i wouldn't expect to be able to do two hours straight off the bat either but there we are to add insult to this, um, I have not got caffeine here. This is a mint tea, because as I say, I've been uh, sleeping terribly. So I was like, maybe not caffeine right now, but oh, it's regret, but in a different way. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this. Hello, guys. All right. Hello. Set up. Mumtaz. Excellent. So I was feeling a bit too skinny, so I thought I would have a cheat meal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Anyway, so yeah, um, I'm having Taco Bell Tuesday for my cheat meal i guess you're also having a pepsi i'm assuming that's a cheat on your boycotting um i don't really want to call it like a cheat meal it's just a meal i feel what like having and i'll just eat accordingly like healthier for the rest of the day i don't know anyway i'm not going to talk about or make excuses for what i'm eating i just want to eat it which is the most honest she gets to be honest but uh she seems mad maybe just mad at the pre-judgment she's getting i watched a few minutes of this and i was like ah <laughs> like i know what happens in the next few minutes but um yeah there was uh, a theory i think going around twitter being like okay so she's exercised for a few days she's gonna rage in the next two set your clocks and here we go <laughs> This isn't a big, big rage. This is her trying to be like sassy and unbothered, but in a really bothered way. <laughs> sassy and unbothered enough to make a video. You know, if you want to watch me uh, have dinner, fine. If not, fine. Be fine. I'm, I'm going to watch. You'll be angry about that and you'd be angry if no one did. So there we go. I do love that she's like, oh, I'll just eat healthy the rest of the day. Seemingly not realizing or not caring that her diabetes doesn't really work that way. She does have a ton of medical reasons why she shouldn't be eating this. Yeah, actual medical reasons, not just judgment on her weight, which is a lot of the conversation a lot of the time, which she is really, really leaning into right here. But her approach over the last few days that she's been presenting the health arc seems to be very old school Chantal of, yeah, I want to reduce calories, I want to do what have you but isn't much going by the diabetic doctor's orders. Who, by the way, she was meant to have a follow-up with, right? When's that gonna happen? I'd be interested. Yeah, so I'm having, this is their double quesadilla meal. This is double quesadilla. No, this is just them serving normal portions because they're okay, calm down. No. Ooh. Okay, she's also mad that she wanted to binge and her food isn't as much as she thought it should be. Normally, I guess, if they, like, if this is double, they only give you this? Normally? No, sorry. This All is right. the taco cheese diet for Pepsi Max. It's the only diet they had. More important than my values. Not that it really matters as I slather these cheese fries in ketchup. Clearly, I won't be getting sugar from any other source. <laughs> and I have yogurt instead of sour cream. So I'm just gonna mm -hmm. make this like this. You gotta have some kind of sour white substance on them. That's what Yo, Salah said. Sour cream. Although I hear he prefers brown. Whatever. So ketchup, yogurt, hot sauce, and a mountain okay. of cheese in the quesadilla and on the fries. Nice. I'm sure sure this is gonna go really well. Yes. Mm. The cheese doesn't even look that melted. It's kind of hardened. It doesn't look pleasant. I'm wearing matte lipstick. Let's hope it doesn't smear. 
Well, it's, it's matte, but you could also not be wearing it. And given how it actually looks, I'd say least of your worries at this point. You're not going to make it worse. All right. I want to talk about... Oh, so she does have an actual point to this, and this is why she's annoyed. Eat those mm. feelings, Chantel. Yum. I want to talk about some things that... Um... <laughs> you seem to be confusing me with someone else. Oh, I very much doubt we are, but great that you're, you're trying to put on this attitude. It always ends well for you. This whole notion... Mm -hmm. I've seen comments from people commenting on my videos. I thought her comments were off. Her comments on again. Where it's like... They're like... The only reason you want to get healthy... You've got now, many reasons. I lose weight now. Because there always has to be some kind of like ulterior motive that's negative. There can't be anything ever positive in my life, right? I mean, there can be in theory, but how often do you bring something positive up? It's because of the fact that your husband's cheating on you. You don't want to be cheated on. Well, yeah, evidence would support. And it's not you don't want to be, you've been cheated on. You don't want to be cheated on again. You want your man to be attracted to you. Um, you want your man not to be attracted to others and you seem to think that this is the way forward. Okay, number one, when you say things like- Oh, careful with your number one, number two references because this is good and badly for you. This, you're basically saying that nobody overweight or fat, even obese, whatever, can be loved or somebody can't be attracted to them i reject this i will generously call it a thought we think that you think this way because you literally got as close as you could to sprinting back to kuwait during one of the busiest travel seasons after you had said you don't fit on a plane, you need a second seat, but there wasn't a second seat and you didn't really want to pay the money for a second seat and you didn't want to do the journey again because your husband got caught sending dick pics and telling women on the internet, women on the internet that you were friends with, <laughs> that he wanted to shit on them and their crucifix. To use your phrase, let's not get it twisted. So given your documented history of massive insecurity about a number of things, of your admitted jealousy in relationships, and the fact that you basically ran back to Kuwait when it was not convenient for you to do so to address this with your husband, people think the sudden changes you're showing in your life might have been triggered by it. But no, no, lean into this is a problem with your weight. You have many problems caused by your weight. Sorry, I thought I was done. Apparently I wasn't. You have many problems caused by your weight, but this attitude is not it. That's caused by your insecurities and the fact that your husband likes to play with poo. All right, so that is BS right there. That's Number why Salah two, likes it. I'm gonna literally stop this on any reference to crap she makes. <laughs> like, I'm never letting it go. Speaking of number twos. My husband. Husband. Met me. And I was fat. He did. This was the perfect freeze frame. Well done to me. He met you through the filters, but he kept you after he actually met you. So he has his reasons, clearly. But as I say, there are many other reasons to question your sudden turning of a new leaf, given recent events. Being on video before we met in person, the video apparently adds pounds. Through your filters, you've had seven different face shapes in the last week. So... Again, not really the point, but you're bringing this up. Video for hours and hours a day, he would know how fat I am. Maybe. You're the one saying it's the problem here, not us. I say us. I am sure there are people in the community that do. But at this point, and I can only speak for myself because this is where we are, 
at this point, I would say she makes a bigger issue of her weight than I do. Just manufacture some more rage, Chantel. Go on. Sir, the person he was talking to was also fat. I've never seen a body picture of Kybella. She didn't seem to be, based on the pictures I saw. And I tell you, the porn he was sending her wasn't fat, was it? The picture of men peeing on women, the women in that were quite skinny, weren't they? So when you talk about the fantasy things that he doesn't think you're going to see, that doesn't seem to track. Again, it's not my argument. If Chantel does it for him, then she does it for him. But based on their interactions, she doesn't seem to. And last, but certainly not least. Oh, a matter of opinion, but go on. That's not nice. Chantel, be a lady. Oh, it's been a while since I've told her that. (laughs) I used to say that a lot when she used to do very saucy mukbangs from back in the day. (laughs) Why would I stay married to someone who isn't attracted to me? Because you're desperate. I can't believe you even need to ask that question, but you are just asking it to to be this way, so. Does he love me because of my weight? Uh, So if he doesn't love you for other reasons, it's fine. You stayed with Nada when Nada was hitting you. You stayed with BB until your relationship had fizzled out so much that when you were like, do you want to break up? And he was like, yeah, you did it. We've all known for a long while that Chantal would give practically anything to be able to use the phrase, my husband. You only have to fake love me, remember? Hear me out, people. I'm hearing. Feeling that way? You need to find someone who does like you for your size in your good and bad situations, everything. What happened has nothing to do with my weight. I would argue maybe not. I would argue maybe not. I would argue had she been skinny, he'd still be doing this because that just seems to be the type of dude Salah is. But as you try and fumble your way up onto this high horse, remember your words. All you had to do was fake love me, not mine. And if it did, I could easily find someone who appreciates me for how I am. Okay, well, there you go then. Never, ever mistake that. She found someone. I mean, that someone was Nada, but anyone can make mistakes. Not everyone dives headfirst back into them as readily as she does, but anyone can make mistakes. Foodie has managed to keep herself in relationships fairly consistently. The ones we can prove actually happened. Some of them have been terrible relationships, but she can do it. And there is a lid for every pot. I'm not saying there's no person out there for Foodie, but... There are many things going on in Foodie's life that make her difficult to be with. Things that she herself has admitted. The fact that she happens to be picking fat today really doesn't make a difference. There are so many things. If we were going to list qualities, there are so many things that I would list before weight for Foodie as points of concern. Like, I'm not even sure fat would make the list. So this whole mukbang is just her saying, suck it, I'll eat what I want. Okay, good, just check it. Now. Now. I think saying things like, you should get in shape for your man, you know? Who on earth is saying that to her? Like, who on earth is saying that to her? (laughs) I think there's something to be said for, hey, given the amount of health concerns that are attached to the fact that her body has dealt with these issues for so long in an actual loving relationship you'd want to have a conversation with a partner and say i am so worried about your health can we do something together that would be a hard conversation but it would be one you would broach out of love but this this is just her trying to find anything to hang on to so that she can be mad about that instead of raging about the things she actually wants to be mad about. So she gets to be angry on the internet without going through the stuff she's actually angry about. You should do this to keep up in your your relationship. No, you need to do things for yourself. You don't change for any man. You don't change for anyone. You change for yourself. You don't even change for yourself. Because if you really love someone, you're not going to only love them if they change. That's not love. Again, that's basically saying nobody who's like overweight is deserving of love. If they have weight issues, if they have problems, if they're not perfect, if they're not running, if they're not super. 
As if any of that has been a conversation recently. I would have questions over whether Salah was worth even her rock bottom standards, given what a piece of work he seems to be. Like, anybody with a shred of self-respect would have been like, oh, oh no, no thank you. Not our foodie though, she's back. I'm just stopping at the minute, she hasn't said anything. But I feel like she's actually doing on that, that on purpose to annoy people. So I'm glad I'm going to be cutting all this out after. She like, looks like she's about to say something and then really like deliberately just shoves something else in her face. Just to elongate the video because you know people, it irritates people. It's nice and mature. <laughs> dumbest, dumbest comments from our reaction channel saying... Well, maybe you should have been aware, like, you let yourself go. Maybe that's why he cheated. From a reaction channel? Really? I, I don't watch many reaction channels. It's like Smokey Steve and um, Pulpy is pretty much it. But, like, unless that reaction channel is very new, we have known exactly the state she's been in, even pre-Kuwait. <laughs> like... How letting go implies something was being held on to beforehand. She has had what we thought would be a rock bottom before. And especially when you're comparing it to the partner Sir Shits a lot. Like what, what competition is there there? They're both working with extremely low bars. Coming from reactors who look like this. Okay, she's been... She's been on Twitter because I have seen somebody quote tweet this somewhere. And of course, we're talking about FFG because who else would she talk about? Sorry, there'll be a weird cut. I sneezed. Hmm. Interesting. I look better than you. So... I don't think it's a competition. I, I think... She's got other problems she should deal with now that are nothing to do with appearance. That's, that's what I think. Well, what you're saying is that you can't find one either? I mean, like, it's, it's ridiculous. She really wants so, to burn FFG here. That's what this is about. I had nothing to do with my weight. Nobody knows the true dynamic of our relationship. <laughs> we're a tad better informed than we were a few weeks ago. <laughs> and you never will. One mistake doesn't our define business. our entire relationship. Oh, you're right. Sometimes it doesn't, but man, it may not define it, but it's going to live on in infamy. And has literally just defined this entire Kuwait arc. Usually when people are unfaithful, it's about them. Or a different issue. Alright, I'd, I'd say there were a lot of issues at play here. Yeah? For example, when I was unfaithful. Which time? You're gonna have to be more specific. In my past relationship, I never... Ship? Ship single? Be real. Had an issue with the person I was with. I was in love, I... Was attracted to them, but I still did it. Okay, well, I would not consider you to be a model of good emotional and mental health, yeah? Don't use yourself as that yardstick. For me, I was lonely, I needed attention all the time. Uh, is that what you're saying Salah needs? It was a me problem. So we know now that behind the scenes, she's like, it's all your fault to Salah. Which, to be fair, he got caught sexting one of her beezers. That probably would have been where I would have started the conversation as well. I likely would have done it from a few thousand miles away, but... So, the shit community that fat shames <laughs> me... Poor choice of words. <laughs> to be fair, given the content you have provided us with the last few weeks, it, it is a pretty shit community. It is. While looking like this, I need to cut it out and, and stop with the grade 5 attitude that just because you're fat... You can't get a man because then by that logic, neither can all of you. <laughs> there is documented evidence 
that the relationship does not seem particularly close, yeah? The, any time they're in a room together, it's cringe-worthy. The romantic gestures they make to each other are akin to nine-year-olds playing house who don't actually know what any of this stuff really means. So if we're going to get technical, we're not saying you can't get a man. We're saying we're pretty sure you're paying for this man or he has some other conclusion in mind for him that makes this worthwhile. And you getting angry because he wanted to do his business on other women is very much a you issue and is very much an issue you're going to have to deal with as you move forward with this community because ain't nobody forgetting. But no, try and change the narrative to this. I just want to nip that in the bud. You might be a bit late. (laughs) I'm not going to sit here and say there aren't people out there that sit and talk about how fat she is. That would be ridiculous in the extreme. But nip it in the bud. How many years has she been on YouTube at this point? She's trying to inflate this. She's hoping this will bloom because it's a different conversation about Salah's preferences. Is it in the butt or in the butt? <laughs> Ask your husband. <laughs> oh. And I- I'm going to say this with the utmost smugness and sassiness I can say. Oh, I don't think you operate in any other way. <laughs> I will never stay with someone who isn't attracted to me. And I can tell... Evidence the contrary. Before. By how much affection, how much touch, how much XO, how much everything you get from that person. We can tell too. Every time he touches you, he looks like he's petting an animal. All the loving phrases make us cringe. And the last XO scenario we saw was him wanting to pee and shit on one of your members. <laughs> like... When I say we know too much now, Chantel. So there. So there. You've really shown me. This health journey I'm on, I'm doing it for myself, not anyone else. Are you doing it right now? Because I hate to break this to you, but look down. Not my husband, not anyone but me. Let's just put some more of that in your face then. This is how well she's doing things for herself. But she just, it's such angry eating. Next time Chantel says these don't count as binges because of the amount of food, remember this emotion. Next video, I'm gonna cook something delicious though. Um, next video, she might cook something. I've been craving it, but I think I'm missing a few ingredients. How is that possible with all the groceries I did? Complete lack of planning on your part. <laughs> I don't know. Last meal I ate yesterday. So it's like 2.30 p.m. First meal. Okay, so following the doctor's orders for intervals of meals and uh, eating windows and not skipping breakfast going well. Okay. When was that appointment again? Last meal I ate yesterday was at... Did you say she had cookies or something? Or no, there was the... More video in between there. Because I haven't really been watching her stuff. I've dipped in and out of it because it all all seemed very dull. Um, I don't necessarily have the timeline straight. 7 p.m. As long as I'm mindful of the rest of the day of what I eat, this will be fine. Again, there's being healthier for your health problems. And there is losing weight. And actually, even though one would obviously drastically impact the other because they are linked, given how immediate all her concerns are with her health issues, she should be eating for those, and then by extension, she will lose weight. But right now, she's still in that whole kind of feast famine thing. Well, if I eat fast food now that's terrible for me and goes against all the doctor's wishes, then if I just eat lightly the rest of the day, it'll be fine, because overall I'll have a net uh, deficit I think is the point she's making even though she's not looking at it that uh, closely but it doesn't change the fact that her diabetes will not enjoy this meal it's fried it's full of dairy and like plastic cheese it's not going to do her body any good the sodium with all the issues she's had with her kidneys like it's It's going to do the damage even if you lower your calories the rest of the day. And the fact is, especially with her feeling like this and emotional triggers, 
eating food like this just makes you more likely to eat that kind of food later and to say, okay, I ate this, so the day is ruined anyway. I might as well eat the cookies that I told you were for Salah. I haven't eaten out in like a week. What? That doesn't seem right. I feel like she's had videos out in the past week for eating, but I'm not going back and checking now. In the end, I mean, people are still gonna think what they want, but yeah, that's my response. That's my take on it. On the things you weren't gonna address anymore. Cause this seems to be like you addressing why Salah loves you and you said you weren't gonna have that as a conversation on channel anymore. What, are you realizing that people aren't going for your uh, outdoor journeys? I hate that attitude towards overweight people. I mean, you hate pretty much everything, but I don't think that is the crux of the problem people have with you. Do If you embark on a lifestyle change for someone else, that's not going to be the right motivation, is it? No, you would think the the diabetes, the kidneys, the general organ failure, one by one, would be enough of motivation, but we've just eaten a, a double wrap supreme taco something, so apparently not either. Tell me, what is your motivation? So, that was good, but you know what? I think I can make better. But the whole point is I didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> I'm not finished squeezing my cat, so I gotta go. <laughs> so I just wanted to do that PSA today for you, so you don't get it twisted. Oh, thank you so much. I know a lot of you are overweight. A lot of you are bigger, smaller, my size, whatever. Okay. Um, we're all fat. And claiming that somebody based on their physical attributes is only worthy of love if they're like in shape or... She, she is riding a high horse, really. For the amount of movement she has, it's impressive. Whatever, because you have a thigh yoke. If you're overweight, just when you're standing, spread a little more, your legs apart, you'll have a thigh gap, all right? Sorry guys, it's not her making me cry. I keep stopping because I'm coughing. So I'm doing this for myself, my health, no one else. And it will never be about anyone else. That is to an extent true because she's not capable of prioritizing another human being in that way or any living thing in that way. It is the Chantel show and it always will be. But when you say you're doing it for yourself, I would love to see you actually doing it, which you don't seem to be. It's fine to work on yourself, sure. No one's perfect. Even if you're thin, it doesn't mean you're perfect, please. You know, like, I hate that attitude. It's so ignorant. Speaking of ignorance, you know how she gets angry about things from when she was 13? I feel like something small has triggered her, and now it's all the anger she's ever had about this ever. Um, I'm a very loving person when I'm in a relationship, and I'm funny, and I'm pretty, and... I'm fine with you believing all those things. I want people to be happy within themselves. I don't think she's a happy person. I don't think she's satisfied with her life. I think she rages because she feels the ineptness she has in her own life. But you get to think what you want about yourself. Everything I bring to the table, my weight has nothing to do with it. So, um, we go plenty of places. I mean, I have, how can people deny that? I have so many videos of us going out and doing things. I just walked two hours yesterday. Maybe, but you also do it when the place is deserted. So when you're like, hey, for reasons unknown, you guys seem to be avoiding people. Is Salah hiding your presence or, or are you embarrassed to be out by yourself? Because whether true or not, that's what that implies. That's also something you can't say. Oh, well, you know, you should go out and do more. I, we do. We do. Don't you worry. Oh, it's never Everyone should worry. worry about themselves and less about what other people are doing with their lives. Uh, maybe. Maybe we should, but also we're not monetizing our lives, you are. So if you're gonna put it on the internet and make money from it, expect people to comment. Okay, thank okay. you. You're welcome. So it's like, that's like me saying that most of the female reactors in Gore World can't get a man because of their weird masculine vocal fry. 
I noticed that you didn't put um, Kybella in that in that list of pictures because you know apparently she could get a man. That's not true, is it? Anyway, <laughs> um, thank you guys for having dinner with me and listening to me as always. You're welcome. Um, Don't like be mad I about said, it. I'm gonna try to do a cooking video real soon. Hope you'll be thrilled. I want to make chicken pot pie so bad. <sighs> My lipstick, it dries your mouth out. That's the only thing I don't like. Just let it get a bit crustier. Salah will like it. But has anyone made, if you're watching this, if you watch till the end, put a... Poop emoji? <laughs> put a heart. Purple, yellow, or red, or pink. <laughs> And um, let me know if you've ever made or had chicken pot pie made with thigh meat. Okay, apparently my um, camera wasn't impressed with her either and just cut out because it only had space. So uh, she didn't say anything important in the last two seconds. I'm going to leave you there, okay? Thank you so much for being here. And when she goes off on a proper age, we will be back. Bye-bye.